welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017 here in Geneva, Switzerland. I am delighted to be joined by Yaroslav Ponder, ITU's Senior Strategy um, and Policy Advisor and Chief Event Organizer. Um, so this year's summit is the second since the Sustainable Development Goals were set by the UN in 2015. Can you tell us about the progress that WISIS has accomplished to align itself with these goals? Uh, World Summit on the Information Society is the unique UN um, process of the multi-stakeholder character uh, which provides the platform for the governments, so civil society, private sector, academia, technical community, the platform and to discuss in this setup and the uh, important developments uh, related to the ICTs for SDGs. And in fact, in 2015, the United Nations General Assembly uh, reviewed and uh, the outcomes of the uh, WISIS uh, from 2005 asking for the aligning the WSIS process with the SDG process. This means that since this year and uh, since 2015 we are working hand in hand with the all UN agencies, all the family and uh, to ensure that uh, our guiding tool with this SDG matrix becomes the only reference point for the UN system and uh, that our work is programmed programmed accordingly and that we are contributing to the one unique goal, the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, on the annual basis, we are meeting in Gen Geneva as requested by the UN General Assembly at the WSIS Forum to exchange the best practices and to see how these uh, practices can contribute to the development of the information society uh, at the global scale. Uh, also, this year, we start to observe a very positive development at the regional level. And this is something what we are, uh, in fact, looking for for some time, that the implementation of the WISIS outcomes uh, in relationship to the SDGs uh, is also kicking off at the regional level. And series of the regional meetings are taking place since this year in order to connect the dots and connect the all stakeholders at the regional level to strengthen the implementation of the WSS outcomes with the ultimate goal and to achieve the SDGs by 2030. You've used the word platform. It's very important, isn't it? What can you tell us about uh, WISIS as a platform for sharing best practices in ICT uh, to enable the SDGs? WISIS Forum evolved since 2005 when the uh, WISIS Summit uh, concluded uh, on, the, on its objectives and the goals. We started very small with the small community, but we arrived to the community of more than 300,000 uh, ICT professionals from coming from the different sectors, working hand in hand in the, on the process, providing the guidance, but more importantly, uh, working on the setting up the partnerships and to implement the WISIS outcomes in line with this, what has been uh, designed by the governments uh, with the advice of the international organizations, private sector, civil societies, and other stakeholders. And therefore, we are very happy on the annual basis and to see the series of the innovations um, proposed by the stakeholders. Like this year, we hold the first ever the hackathon, which is addressing the challenges of the health. Uh, it's already known today that the next year we'll be working together with the FAO and the UN agencies in charge of the food uh, and with the IEEE on the hackathon on the hack with the title Hack Against Hunger. So you see we are doing the progress in the each of the domain uh, and each of the field where the UN can make the change. The one important uh, strategy behind the WISIS uh, process is to make sure that we are delivering as one and to the countries as the UN system and uh, in line uh, with the SDG uh, process, uh, but still focusing on the ICT component. As the technologies evolve and they are changing our life, they are becoming useful more and more, not only for playing in the, uh, uh, and using during the spare time, um, but more and more we are seeing this uh, applied in the real life, in the agriculture, in the health, in the education and the other sectors. Therefore, 
This year, we are very happy to welcome at the WISIS Forum so many representatives of the other sectors than the ICT sector. Um, so the debate is not anymore how to produce ICTs to sell them, but more the debate turns towards how to address the challenges of the global development through the ICT solutions. Therefore, we are very proud of welcoming more than 2,400 two uh, ICT experts and the other representatives of the uh, stakeholders and the sectors looking for the solutions and the partnerships. Well, Jaroslav Ponda, ITU's Senior Strategy and Policy Advisor, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.